Hello, it's me. I hope you're having a good day, staying sane, but staying informed. I'm gonna leave a link in the description that shows you this like state-by-state -state breakdown of all the different ways to vote. So go look at that, make sure you're staying up to date. Vote early if you can, but it's different for each state, so if you're not sure, check that link below. It does a really good job. I don't know, I don't know how to, all I'm thinking about is the post office. Okay, let's get to the bread. The bread will be really, really nice and calm me down. <laughs> okay, so the bread. Hold on, let me just, I just need to get the vibes off my brain. Mmm. I've got goosebumps. <laughs> that did wonders, I'm back. <laughs> so a while ago, I was taking a scroll down TikTok um, and I came across a, uh, I came across frog bread. I couldn't find the exact one that I watched, but this other one gives us the gist. Oh, oh, look at her go. Oh, she's so happy. <laughs> she is glowing. Damn, what is that skincare routine? I know this isn't like the most trendy food on TikTok. I just thought it was so delightful. You know, you get a snack, you get a pal. I guess I not to say the word here. So when I looked it up, I found Emmy Made in Japan's video, and she used this recipe that was from a blog post in 2005. So I feel like that must be some sort of OG recipe. So I'm gonna follow that because it has nice step-by-step -step graphics, um, and I'll link below if you would like to. Also, you know what? I, I you know what? I just thought of I can't I can't remember the last time I saw a frog. I think it's been years since I've seen a frog. Where did the where are frogs? Are there frogs in LA? For the first time in almost a hundred years, a rare frog population is having sex in the Santa Monica Mountains. Woo! That headline sounds like a Lana Del Rey song. I love that for them. So I was thinking of making like a main like mama frog, but then like a little baby frog. Should I make a little tadpole? <laughs> no, that's a that's a pretzel stick. Okay, so it's flour, salt, yeast, sugar, lukewarm milk, and water. She doesn't clarify what kind of yeast she uses, but I'm gonna assume it's instant, which I do not have. I just have this active dry yeast. I remember early quarantine, I was so obsessed with finding yeast. I like could not find it anywhere. And then I found it, and then I never made bread. Actually, let me write that down for therapy. <laughs> Since I'm using active dry yeast, I'm just gonna put all the dry ingredients together and then I'm thinking maybe instead of oat milk, I'll just use water so I can put it in my electric kettle because it needs to be warm so it can like break down the thing and activate the yeast. All right, I got my trusty KitchenAid. So six cups of unbleached flour. I'm gonna use whole wheat. And to measure it, I'm just gonna weigh it. Okay, so a fourth cup is 30 grams, which means a cup is 120, which means six cups is 720. Oh, oh, whoa, too much. 704, 720. I love measuring ingredients by weight. It's so much easier. Okay, so then two teaspoons of yeast. I'm pretty sure a packet of this is like two teaspoons. Let me cut it, I put the yeast in. A fourth cup of sugar. I'm just gonna use coconut because that's what I have, fourth cup. And two teaspoons of salt. Okay, so I got none of the ingredients ready. I don't even know why I pretended that I did. Stir. So it calls for two cups of lukewarm milk and then a fourth to half cup of water. Okay, two cups of oat milk. I'm gonna put this in the microwave and try and bring it up to the temperature that the yeast packet recommends. Okay, I got the oat milk heated up to about 120 Fahrenheit. I haven't made bread in so long, so please don't judge me. Fourth cup to a half cup of water. This is also heated up. I should not have used my hands at this stage. That is clear now. I'm gonna go need this off camera. I feel like this is a boring part of the video anyway, right? Okay, it's been maybe like oh, around 20 minutes. I am struggling with this dough and I don't understand why. The dough is really sticky and I feel like the gluten isn't developing. It's supposed to like let light through, it isn't. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Can't wait to read the comments of all the people who know exactly what I did wrong. <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm just gonna go with it. The next step is to put this in a greased bowl and then cover it lightly and let it rise for an hour. So I'm gonna do that off camera. And then we'll just be back and hopefully it'll be risen. <sighs> so, sorry, I thought I could hold that note 
for longer, and I don't know what happened there. Okay, it has been a lot of time, and it has risen, and then I moved it over here to this table, and it's falling back down, okay? But here we are. This doesn't seem, this feels wrong. Why is this? I was not expecting that much to stick to it. All right, let's see if this will work. Okay. Oh, was I supposed to punch it down? Ugh, I don't know anything about... Why did I think I would know how to do this? I've made maybe less than 10 loaves of bread in my time. So, okay, I put too much flour on the table is something I'm realizing very immediately. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, it was sticky. Yeah. Guys, it is so hard to focus. Really having a hard time with the world. <laughs> okay. I'm splitting the bread. This is way too floury. I really messed up there. Formed it into a ball. Okay, so this is gonna be like the frog's body. This does not look good. This looks really bad. Okay, are these big enough for... No, we should get have this. Lift this up, put the leg. Wait, I don't think I know what a frog... I don't know frog anatomy. I haven't seen a frog in so long. I haven't even thought about frogs. <laughs> I need a new PR team. Guys, I'm thinking I really messed up and I need to take all these pieces and put them back together. Okay. Yeah, I messed up. I need to put these pieces of dough back together. I don't even know if that's possible without ruining the proof, but someone will tell me in the comments. We're doing it. <laughs> Ooh, let's just have some fun. We're young. I'm a little afraid this bread is not going to taste good. Okay. That'll be a foot. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, this is working. Okay, now we gotta shape the front of it like a little teardrop. Or no, that's the back of it. These are two little hind legs. And they go in the back. Okay, we have that. Okay, two of these are the feet for the hind legs. Okay, so flatten it down. One, two. Okay, a foot. Okay, another foot. All right, this is not looking great. <laughs> this is what we're working with. I guess, okay. Okay, let's wait for the eyes. Okay, and now two of these are the front feet. Oh my God, okay, it's coming together. Come on, serotonin. Okay, these are the front legs. These little toes. Oh, I forgot that I was gonna do a little baby. Oh well. One toe, two toe, three toe. And then the little feet go here, like that. And then this foot goes here. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. I, guys, you know what? I really thought I would have to redo this tomorrow. Look how far we've come. <laughs> okay, the eyeballs, okay. All right. Hey, pretty good. So it seems like the move that everyone is doing is pushing two little raisins into the eyeballs. I don't have any raisins, can't keep them in the house. I eat all of them, it's, uh, I can't. But let me go see if I have like, I, I don't know, some other dark, dried goods. Okay, you know what? The only thing I could find uh, that might look like eyes is black beans. So I'm gonna just stick them in and then we'll eat around that. <laughs> I have blueberries, but I, I, I don't think that would work because it's wet. I feel like it would just drip down like a Billie Eilish music video. So let's just see what it, one little, oh. Oh wait, that actually works. Oh, hi. Okay. This is what we got. Eyes are a little small, but we don't judge. I thought we cut the slit for the smile and then put it in the oven, but it has to sit for another hour. Great. I'll be back again. Another hour? Why? Why is baking like this? All right, see you in an hour. Bye, have fun. Oh, now that it has a face, feeling so much better. <laughs> I need to get it back. What am I doing? Okay, it's been rising for an hour. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> oh baby. Oh, oh, your eyeballs. Oh my god. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, your pupil. Oh my god. Oh. F <laughs> uh. Well, guys. We tried. <laughs> Look, I get it. Dude, that's how I'm feeling too. Okay, I'm gonna try and... Okay, this needs to go in the oven, so I'm gonna go preheat it. It's 350. Oh, this is sad. 
It's getting sadder the longer I look at it. Okay, let's bring the toes back out. Separate. Please separate into toes. I think I've just been lying to myself like my whole life about how much I know about baking. It's really different than cooking. Maybe it just needs the oven and then it'll... <laughs> okay, the oven's preheated. I'm gonna make the slit in the... for the mouth. Open up. Open up. Open up. Uh, I'm hoping like maybe it'll <laughs> bake and like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm hoping. This has gone very poorly. Okay, it says to bake for 45 minutes. <sighs> Hi, it's the next morning. It, I, it was too depressing. I just... <laughs> yeah, that. That's the final product, that's the, that's a frog. So not only does it not look like a frog, it also overcooked in the oven, but you know what? Guys, it's all about the journey, you know? It looks like something from Monster Sink. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I just don't really know. What should I cut first? Oh, oh, oh my God! It's pupil fell. <laughs> all right, I guess I'll just go right down the middle, you know, like you would do with a boule, a boule. I don't know how to say that. Here, let me try one of its toes. <laughs> okay, let's try some of the middle. Let's just like get some of its guts, see how that's doing. Well, that was really sad. <laughs> I'm gonna let this sit out and then put it in a food processor and dehydrate them for breadcrumbs. That seems like a good purpose of our little pal here. <laughs> well. I am sorry to this frog. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not, subscribe. Give this video a like if you liked it. You know, it's a subjective measurement. I'll probably use one half of the frog for breadcrumbs and then the other half for croutons. So if you want to see that, I'll probably post about it on my Instagram story. So follow me there if you aren't. Thank you. I am gonna go. I'm gonna, yeah, that was it. I'm gonna go. <laughs> All right, see ya in, oh. This wasn't the video that Chris and I were talking about, like, ooh, drama in the last video, you know, that'll come next week. So, if you were wondering that the whole time. Okay, bye! <laughs>